As we approach the end of the year, many of us are trying to cross off some items on the yearly goals list. Every day. Check, I'm trying check, to try check. to. Yeah. I, there's not too many checks on mine. There's a lot oh, of bubbles okay, that's, that I need that's to okay, check. That's okay. <laughs> but here to help me and all of us is uh, to help utilize men, uh, mindfulness and life blueprinting is life coach and author Mariko Bennett. So thank you so much for being here. As, uh, as we mentioned, we all have uh, resolutions at the top mm -hmm. of the year. And we get to the fourth quarter and we're like, if you're like me, you're like, uh-oh. Yeah, like, I, I should have crossed more things off. What is your advice? And first of all, what is mindfulness and how do we use that? So mindfulness is the first step, I feel like, in terms of uh, crystallizing and manifesting your visions and your dreams. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a centering and it's really being present with yourself. Mm -hmm. So when you talk about goals and priorities mm -hmm. and the fact that we're at the final quarter and yep. like you're like, have I manifested all of the things that I envisioned for myself? Uh, and you're not there yet. That's okay. We still have time, right? It's three more, yes. you know. So, but I also, I also tell people that if you are tracking and monitoring along the way, you will get a lot closer to those goals mm. and it's not a mad dash at the end to try to finish it all up. Smart. Smart. Right. What are your thoughts on kind of New Year's resolutions or end of the year goals or, or that kind of um, mindset? Yeah, I, I believe in them, but I, I'm a goal setter, right? I'm a dream catcher. And so I believe that, um, you know, resolutions and intentions um, are important, mm -hmm. but the execution is what really matters, mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. so um, we start with the vision, right? We start with what do I see for myself? What do I want to be when I grow up? What aspirations or hopes or dreams do I have? Uh, and then you have to goal set mm. and then you have to action plan. And then you may need some accountability partners, right? Yes. To hold you accountable. So you're not at the final stretch talking about, oh no, uh, <laughs> I got to get this done. <laughs> right. I promised this to myself at the beginning of the year. Um, and so that's how you actually can reach full manifestation on these dreams, these aspirations, these resolutions that you set for yourself. Love that. Yeah. And you've not only worked with individuals, you've worked with companies to help people, um, companies grow and also uh, reach those goals. Tell us more about that and how you help companies in that way. Absolutely. So, um, and we've worked, we've been blessed to work with some of the biggest companies in the world, some of the largest nonprofits in the world. We're really excited about the fact that we're helping our returning citizens now. Yes. Um, we're helping students, parents, and school leaders, mm -hmm. teachers. Uh, and so uh, what does that work look like? It looks like strategic planning, mm -hmm. but in your personal life. So you all have KPIs, you mm -hmm. have deliverables and mm -hmm. goals, and you have to meet with you know your managers mm -hmm. on a quarterly basis to figure out how you're tracking. Mm -hmm. Well, we help you do that um, professionally and personally. Mm -hmm. And so I really want people to be thinking about, am I strategic? You know, am I having strategic plans for my life? Uh, and we coach in the seven life focus areas. So we have to have that for social too. Yeah. You gotta have fun, right? right you can't yes. just work all the time. Uh, so that's what we help them do. Yes, I like to have fun and, and check off those things on the goal list. Right, and it's kind of a, a balance. And, and you know, I think it sounds like mindfulness is, is a little bit about um, you're kind of visualizing it in your mind, but also making a plan. Because I know for a lot of people, New Year's resolutions, fourth quarter goals, they're like, I gotta go work out every day, you know, and, and make a habit of it. Um, and it, you know, how do you think people can best make that a reality, those those daily goals and put them into practice? That's right, so tracking, mm -hmm. you have to have tracking mm -hmm. sheets. Um, you have to be really intentional with your time and mm -hmm. what you've promised yourself. And guess what, obstacles happen, life happens to yes. each and every one of us. And so if you are intentional about, I have this vision, I've crystallized this vision, this is my dream, this is what I want. And then you customize a plan, so we coach in the four C's, right? Mm -hmm. And then you cultivate, meaning you're doing the work and you're curating, which means that you are fine tuning, tracking mm -hmm. and assessing progress along the way. Those are your four C's. That's how you'll actually be able to fully manifest. Um, but you also, back to our mindfulness and one of the things we're gonna talk about and do today, um, is that you do need to be present. You need mm. to take the time to be centered and to focus uh, and all the distractions because this, we are just, come on now. Listen, Amen corner. Corner. Listen. Amen corner. Yep, listen. Um, we are distracted by so many things. Mm. And so to be present with ourselves is super critical and important. Well, you mentioned it. Let's go ahead and jump into it now. <laughs> yes. We want to do a mindfulness exercise okay. with you now. 
All right, well, I'm excited about it. Um, so um, I did bring a room spray, too. I'm going to do it just yes, because. Yes, yes, oh, yes. Okay, yes. yeah, so yes. I'm all about, so we have, so we customize this scent. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. It's a blueprinting custom scent. We worked with mm. Lola with Oasis Soul. Mm. Shout out. Uh, and this is the first part. So we're going to close our eyes. We're going to take a very deep breath, and you're going to inhale that in. Mm. <sighs> and we are going to start the first phase of crystallization. So I want you to start thinking about, we talked about balance earlier, and we look at the seven life focus areas. So physical body, deep breath in and out you look and you feel good mindset your energy is infectious and positive your finances are growing exponentially deep breath in and out your relationships with your family and friends your bond is stronger than it's ever been before social you are traveling the world, enjoying blue water, white sand, hanging out with friends, brunching, spirituality. You are feeling as though you are living out your life's purpose. Deep breath in. And out. And we're gonna open our eyes. What did you visualize? What did y'all see? I'm on the beach. <laughs> I was smiling. I was like smiling. I was like blue water. I was in the. I yes. was on the beach. I was on the beach. Right. So that's the finances. I was, okay. You said finances. I was a rich lady on the beach. I was like yeah. the monopoly man on I like had, or Scrooge McDuck <laughs> on like a, on a, a big pile of money. I, I wanted to stop. I know I didn't have time. I would have walked you through career, etc. Yes, but we yes, already yes. talked finances, and so. Um, one of the things when you are sitting in that moment and you are crystallizing vision and being mindful, um, that might be an area that you need intentional growth in. So mm -hmm. if you went right to social and you visualize some things that you may have wanted to see in your life, mm -hmm. that would be next. We would actually set some social goals and we ah. would plan your next vacation and figure out where we're going. Well, sense. my husband was watching. Okay. I, I was right on the beach. I was like, go ahead and book it. Book the flight, book the flight. Book it. Thank you so, so much. And then how can you get more information and get some of these products? Absolutely. So you can go to my website, Mariko, M-A-R-I-K-O, L A Bennett.com. Perfect. Thank you so much again. Yeah, thank you for having me.